Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nermodon, and I'll be making a gameplay commentary over some Battlefield 3. I'll be playing on Operation Metro, Conquest will be the game type, and I'll be using the oh-so-powerful and oh-so-controversial weapon known as the M16A3. With the standard attachments, of course, because you just gotta add to the ensuity, which is the online experience. So with that in mind, guys, the only reason I'm continually uploading the M16A3, and it almost seems like on the same map as well, is for a few, I guess, easy notifications. One, it's an amazing weapon. It's the M16. We all know it's a great weapon. If you want to say it's overpowered, you can. I don't think so personally, but it's a really good gun, and I will uh, give you that. But also, it's because I've transferred from the Xbox 360 to PC, and I'm still getting used to the PC setup. You know, the keyboard and mouse, the keybinds, the whole experience with just frame rate and all that stuff. So I need to have a little bit of a handicap because I'm not as good as you keyboard warriors out there. You guys that can do 360s with the M16 and kill 15 guys. I can't do that. So, you know, I gotta have a little bit of a uh, handicap, I guess you could say. So that's the main gist of that. I just wanted to comment on that. I know most of you guys don't have a problem with the M16, but, you know, there are interesting characters on YouTube that um, just don't like it. And that's fine. You don't have to like every weapon in the game. I don't think it's a problem, so I'm going to continually use it until I feel like uh, my skill level is caught up. So, with that in mind, guys, I want to jump into the commentary topic because, well, it's a good way to uh, talk about a couple of things. So, you guys are watching Battlefield 3, this much is known. But I'm going to be talking about Battlefield 4 and how these two games are going to coexist. You know, what features from Battlefield 3 are going to go to Battlefield 4, and how much are they going to be identical? Some people will say they're going to be a copy and paste edition. Some are going to say they're a complete innovation and they're a completely new game. And it's interesting to see where you guys will stand. I want you guys to listen to everything I say first, and then you guys, towards the end, I would hope that you guys would jump into the conversation and let me know if you guys agreed on Selected Matters, if you think it's going to be a completely new game, or if it's going to be, in a sense, a copy and paste. And uh, I look forward to seeing your responses. So, with that in mind, guys, let's indulge ourselves into the commentary topic. So Battlefield 3, it brought with it all kinds of new innovation and we were blown when the game first came out. It did have its problems in the beta, but the final release did not have as many problems as I remember. M16 is one, the USAS with frag rounds, frag rounds is also... There was problems. Every game has problems. There is no game that is multiplayer that doesn't have issues, glitches, complications, anything. You know, there is balancement issues even today in Battlefield. We all know this particular weapons that are, in a sense, they're the king weapons of the particular classes, but they may or may not be overpowered. It depends on how uh, you define overpowered, I guess, in that sense. But with that in mind, Battlefield 4. A lot of things I'll be talking about are reliterations. You guys know I did do videos when E3 was present. I talked about a lot of this stuff, so hang in there. But just in case you're new to my channel, this may be the first time you're hearing about it. Or maybe you don't follow Battlefield as strictly and heavily as some other people. So, we jump ourselves into the conversation by going into the destructibility because that seems to be on everybody's mind. Everybody wants to see those buildings fall all the way to the ground like we did in the trailer. The trailer really brought to us a lot of cool innovation. If you guys watched the live streams, you guys were indulging yourself into the content and really watching every particular moment, you guys probably saw a lot that you were really interested in, myself included. The building was definitely one for the destructibility scale to be like, wow, that's... That's pretty impressive. Like, that blows my mind, to be honest. And we're not going to see that for every building. I'm pretty sure on that because at one point, a guy is lighting up a building with an Apache helicopter, and it should have fell to the ground if this characteristic is active. And it's not. I mean, we all knew this. I mean, deep down, we all know that every building cannot fall to the ground. Now, however, there might be some shacks and some small little houses and stuff that can, but I doubt we'll see, like construction zones and stuff like that just collapse to the ground because well you know battlefield 4 is going to be a completely innovative experience in that characteristics but it's still going to be battlefield 3 in another sense it's going to have a copy and paste feel to it we're going to see similar things i mean they can't jump into a market and be like yo we're going to start from the ground up we're not going to copy anything and we're just going to hope for the best and hope that the community will like that that never works i'm sorry it doesn't i mean you can check out multiple titles that have done that you know, the first issue might be really good, but the second one usually doesn't uphold the amount of players that the first one did. Not always the case. There are differences between, but overall, we're going to see Battlefield 4, in a sense, become a copy and paste. Now, of course, it's going to have innovation. It's, of course, going to fix things that we were all pissed and mad about. I, myself, didn't like particular weapons, didn't like particular actions by particular classes. You guys know, 
I'm not for the recon kit. I despise the class with a passion. But if you're good at the recon kit, you can still show up within the top 10 players. You are a good player in my eyes. But if you're at the bottom of the leaderboards with 500 points on an hour-long game, eh, you might want to upgrade to a different weapon. But overall, that's a commentary for a different day. But when it comes down to it, of course Battlefield 4 will be the game that Battlefield 3 quote-unquote should have been. But it's just interesting to see. I mean, hardware is going to play a very heavy role into this game. With the next-gen consoles coming out, we're going to see innovation, but you got to realize Battlefield 4 also comes out on the 360 and PlayStation 3. So we might not see as big of a jump as we all want. I mean, PC is going to fucking dominate. We all know that. Deep down, we all know PC is going to have stuff that the even Xbox One and PlayStation 4 will not have. I mean, it's easy. You guys can clearly see it in this particular gameplay. This stuff has stuff that the consoles don't even have, and I don't even have everything turned on. So... In graphics, you know, one side is going to take a little bit more of an advancement, but the current generation is going to take an, a downward spike when it comes to the innovation side of it. I mean, we're going to see decreases in map size, but overall, we're going to see Battlefield 4 come with bigger maps, way more vehicles, I'm hoping, because especially with the next-gen consoles, as far as I know, don't hold me exactly to this, but I think the ne current the next-gen consoles, I mean, are going to have 64 player servers, they're going to run at 60 frames per second, and if that's the case, then PC doesn't have as big as a grasp as it did in Battlefield 3. It's still going to have a pretty good uh, hold on the graphics department, but that's to be expected. I mean, there's not really a limitation on the PC side of it. But in regards to what the current gen consoles will uphold, I bet they'll probably hold 24 if they're lucky, but uh, we'll see. We obviously talk about map size, and that's a good thing. I mean, we talked about destructibility, and we know that not every map is going to have probably some big, giant building fall down. But it's probably going to have some kind of characteristic that makes it a very special map. Battlefield 3 did not do that. Battlefield 3 had eh, a few maps that had stuff that fell down or had some cool cinematic feel to it. Caspian Border being one with the giant uh, pole that falls and kills people I guess depending on if you're retarded enough but <laughs> that's to be expected I guess with that in mind guys there's just not a whole lot of innovation for that particular department in Battlefield 3 now Battlefield 4 will hopefully have stuff like that it's hard to say but we also saw the five-man squads we also saw a re-innovation of the squad perks and I kind of like that I be honest with you guys I kind of hate that formula a lot but uh, I guess we'll see uh, having five guys, having five really good guys on your team may make it a lot harder to do a squad wipe. So maybe I'll like it a lot more than I'm thinking right now. But right now, I'm totally not for that. I want to reward myself. I don't want to uh, have some jackweeds that don't know how to play correctly ruining the experience for me as well. So we'll see how this works out. It's going to be hard to say, but overall, I look forward to the innovation on that. Now, the biggest thing that I think everybody's all hyper about, I guess you could say, the classes look like they've been re-centralized to the Bad Company 2 standards. That may not be true on every single one, but from the uh, looks of it, they're putting the C4 back in Recon, and that's good. That means the Recon players will be actually effective now. Sorry, again, if you guys like the Recon kit, but in Bad Company, or Battlefield 3, I'm sorry, you guys know that they're useless. I mean, the UAV, or the MAV, people don't use that, right? They just try to run people over with it. They don't spot, they don't do any of the shit that you should be doing as a Reconnaissance player, and it's annoying. It pisses me off so much. And I'm sure you guys as well if you're as passionate about Battlefield 3 or the Battlefield series as I am. But overall, they'll at least have the ability to blow up tanks. I look forward to seeing what other innovations and other equipment they'll have. It looks like the characters are going to be a copy-paste almost. But they're going to have re-innovation at the finest there. The recon player does look sufficiently better, which I appreciate. He doesn't have that retarded uh, scarf around his face. So I guess that's a benefit. With that in mind, I do appreciate the innovation on that behalf of them just re-centralizing a lot of the points and making everything just look better. And the ability for particular traps that you could set up around the map to drop tanks in and all this stuff, it's going to be crazy. And we know Battlefield 4 is going to be one of those games that is just going to blow our mind. And overall, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. But unfortunately, the commentary does come to a close as of every episode. And if I did miss things, guys, I would love for you guys to jump in on the conversation. Let me know what you thought. And overall, I look forward to making videos similar to this one. So anyway, guys, this is NMO. I'll be signing out. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.